by praying for the Lord's return. My heart is broken for everybody that uh, reject God. <laughs> and here are my seven reasons. Number one is to be and live with you, Lord, forever and never be separated from you forever. This is to encourage each other. Number two, to redeem the innocent children and save them against evil and the force MOB, you know what I mean? The force mark of... Mm. Number three, to give you all the glory forever and praise you and live in love with you always. Number four, to end pain caused by evil, scoffer, mockery, mocking God, the one who created each one of us. Number five, to end sin and evil within the body of Christ, including bad, pain, etc. Number six, to end the torture of the ones made righteous by Jesus' sacrifice in the blood, the unfairness, the un injustice, uh, the bad in the world. For people, they all, all have to turn to God. We know Jesus is really soon. He's coming really, really soon, and people don't believe it. Keep, keep your ground. Number seven, to see you are the Lord our God, and to change the stubborn hearts to become yours. So we pray to bind the forces of evil, to open the door. Praying with everything we have. Fasting and praying. Guys, I encourage you to be together in that. And I encourage you that there's not much suffering left. <laughs> there's good and evil in this world, but it's going to be good forever, soon. Because we will be with the Lord forever. And the Lord is so good. He bless every single one of us. We live in this world. We are tempted. I break this. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Every evil temptation away from each one of you, Lord. Uh, uh, guys, sorry. <laughs> and I pray to, Lord, to you, Lord, for that. And to to fill you up with joy in your hearts. Jesus is yours forever. You'll be his forever. You And and I pray for the Holy Spirit to, to, to be poured into you for, for the rest of the time we have left. Uh, to be poured into you. And that your ways are not your ways, but that becomes his ways. That his ways are your ways. That his, he guides you. And that his plans becomes your plan. That his words become your words. And don't give up, guys. I know it's, it's getting, <laughs> it's hard. And it's hard to see people going in the wrong direction. You know what I'm talking about? As if people are so blinded, it's really hard to see. And uh, keep praying, guys. There's not much time left, okay? Be encouraged. I love you. Keep reading your Bible every day. And uh, you'll see a change to give your life to Him. There's so many things going on. But keep your eyes on Jesus. Remember Peter in the storm? He wanted to walk towards Jesus. Uh, he asked Jesus to come to ask him to come to him. He did. He walked. When, the whole time he looked at Jesus, he could walk on the water to join him on the water walking. But when he turned around and he looked at the storm, what happened? He fell in the water. He was about to drown. And he screamed, Lord, save me. What Jesus did, he yelled, save me, Lord. What happened? Jesus came. He held his hand and, and saved him out of the water same thing today give all your trust to him and enter until the end to be saved all right and then so i give you greeting and may the peace and the grace of the lord be with you and we'll see you shortly in jesus name i ask these things thank you lord to protect the body of christ and all the people especially a special prayer for the lost to turn to you god in the name of jesus christ amen <laughs>